Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and in this video, I want to make sure that you are going to get those emails. They're not going to end up in your uh, junk pile. Uh, and so uh, I'm going to show you how to whitelist emails both in Gmail and uh, Outlook. So uh, you will get your notifications, your when you get grading, uh, when registration opens, um, any like any uh, opportunities or uh, deals. I want to make sure that you get them from me. Um, and I just want to tell you that, uh, you know, getting emails to people is a lot harder than you think, even if you have a good email reputation, which our emails do have good reputation. Uh, but, you know, I know that it's hard because when Google is getting me to whitelist things for their own products into Gmail, um, because that's how hard it is for emails to make it to your inbox, I don't feel so bad. So uh, what I'm going to do here is show you Gmail and then Outlook. Um, and, uh, you know, ignore the fact that I don't zero out my inbox and I've tried to hide a bit of my uh, email here as best as I can. Um, uh, but let's go take a look first at Gmail. So in Gmail, the idea of, um, uh, whitelisting or making sure you get emails is making a filter. So what I'm going to do here is click the cog here at the top and we're going to go to see all settings. That is going to bring me over to our settings page. I'm going to go to filters and blocked. And the idea is I want to go ahead and create myself a new filter. Um, I'm just going to expand this a bit to figure out where I can create a new filter. So here is the create a new filter button here. And so what I'm going to do is do at sign exam pro dot co. Okay. And so I'm not putting anything in front of it. It's going to allow everything from, uh, from that. So I'll say, uh, create filter. And so that is our first filter. Um, I want to go back to those settings and we are going to go to here. I'm just making sure <laughs> I'm not exposing anything too serious here. Um, and we're going to go to filters here. I'm going to go down to create a filter. And I'm going to go ahead and put in at sign cloud project uh, bootcamp.com. We'll go ahead and create that filter. Great. And so that is now created. And so now you will receive uh, emails from both the, at least in Gmail, uh, for uh, the exam pro SEO, which is the main learning platform we're using in the cloudprojectbootcamp.com, which is where I'm sending out all the uh, emails about updates and things like that, like when registration opens. So for um, Outlook, similar process, we're going to go up to the cog here. Uh, actually easier, we go to junk email. And if we scroll on down, uh, we can add uh, sender and domains here. And so if I go here, uh, you can see we can add it for a full domain. So I'm going to go and do that. I'm going to say exampro.co, and we'll go ahead and hit add, and that should add it <laughs> somewhere there. And we'll say cloudprojectbootcamp.com, and we'll say add. And the reason why it might not be adding is because uh, I already have these uh, domains in this Outlook. So just as a case, I'm just going to do google.com and see if it adds it. Hmm. Let me just double check here, okay? All right, so I was just talking to Baco, and I solved it while talking to him. But I guess the way this works is you hit the add button, and then you have to type in the domain that you want, and you hit enter. You have to hit enter. You don't hit add, you hit enter. Anyway, whoever at Microsoft made that design decision, you know, reevaluate uh, your design, please, because that is really confusing. And I'll go here and do exampro.co. You don't hit the add button. Your add just makes it pop up and then you hit enter. And then you can save that. And that's the way you're going to be able to make sure that those emails are coming through. Of course, hit save here. Just don't want to expose uh, my emails there. Um, but yeah, looking forward to everybody being the bootcamp and making sure that you receive your emails. We'll see you the next one. Ciao.